Okay guys, welcome to another video. Today I went to the Daily Store. I guess the Daily Yamazaki is its full name. Um, it's a convenience store here in Japan. It's probably, I don't know, maybe the fourth, <laughs> the fourth ranked. Of course, you know, we got 7-Eleven, Lawson and Family Mart will be the top three and then Daily Yamazaki. There's just, there's just not so many of them around. But they are kind of famous or well known for their baked goods. So I know they they do a lot of they, they have like a, a bakery section in a lot of their their stores. So that's why I went there. I wanted to get some baked goods from the Daily Yamazaki. So um, let me show you exactly what I got here. So the first item, there we go. <laughs> what do you think of that? It is a piece of toast. <laughs> it's not very uh, crispy. It's uh, bacon and eggs on top there, apparently. So we picked up bacon and egg toast. I picked up a panini as well. So that was a little little sandwich that's been pressed. I think we I see a theme developing here. So those first two items, bacon and egg. However, this other item really caught my eye when I went in there. And it is a fried tortilla is what they called it look at that check that out and it's got apparently it's got taco meat inside so i've never seen this before this is something new let's just get into these just the order that i showed them to you the first thing will be the bacon and egg toast and it says it says it's like a new item <laughs> and it was 200 yen it's got a bit of weight to it and you can see they just they just cooked an egg right inside there and it's not like it, it comes through the bottom at all so I don't know what their procedure is but uh, here we go <laughs> itadakimasu it's not hot at all it's it's uh, cool to the touch and kind of chewy the bread is barely toasted like the outside's toasted but it's certainly just bread on the inside there. Mm. That's a pretty solid yolk. If it was breakfast time, I think this, you know, this could do it. I kind of want some like sauce, some hot sauce or even just some ketchup or something on it. I don't know, 200 yen. I guess that's a, a reasonable price if this is something you're interested in then yeah, <laughs> it looks like it has mayonnaise. So it's probably underneath the egg around the edge there too. Bacon's a nice touch. It's, you know, you can see how, how few little pieces there are there. Four tiny little pieces. But yeah, like I said, for breakfast, that would be all right. Okay, let's check out the panini. It just says it's a bacon and egg panini, 248 yen, so. A little bit more expensive than the bacon and egg toast, but I mean, it looks a little kind of fancier, right? Let's crack this open. Okay, so it's got like scrambled eggs inside. You can see there, scrambled eggs. And a strip of Japanese style bacon. There we go. I'm, I'm impressed that it's, it looks like sort of a whole wheat uh, roll as well. Very different flavor. So it's an egg salad and the bacon, there's a lot more bacon on this because there's a whole strip instead of just, <laughs> I don't know what that would be, a quarter of a strip. Whereas that was breakfast, I guess we're having lunch now. This is actually pretty decent and I do like the uh, flavor of that whole wheat roll. Whole wheat is something very rare in Japan. But uh, yeah, that is definitely better than what we had for breakfast. So basically whenever you go into the daily Yamazaki, they put out like baked goods, fresh goods every day, but they're often different. They're, I, get, I don't know, they like to experiment or try new things all the time. So if you go in yesterday, it'll be different than what you see today and tomorrow. Probably be different. I, I'm sure they have a few like sort of standard items, but quite often like this next item we're going to do, 258 yen for the uh, fried tortilla and it said it was a new item. Looks like it's pretty much what it's called, a fried tortilla. 
And inside I can see there is some, oh, there's a wiener in there. I can see a wiener sticking out of my tortilla. You see that? I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Surprise wiener. Okay, well anyhow, let's, uh, yeah, let's just give this a bite. Hmm. It's definitely a wiener. Yeah, I thought it said taco meat. Um, the receipt doesn't really go into great detail. But uh, oh, apparently yeah, I shouldn't touch that or else it'll get all over my fingers. Um, I thought the sign in there said there was taco meat on it. So the wiener was a bit of a surprise. And you can see right next to the wiener there, we got some taco meat. So yeah, it's a wiener and taco meat. No egg or bacon in sight. The fact that it's fried is making it kind of hard to unravel here. There we go. I mean, it's pretty much what we expected. A wiener <laughs> and, some, and some taco meat. <laughs> so, uh, doesn't seem there's any cheese or anything like that on it. Yeah, I'm really liking this flavor. It's not, it's not hot, but it's a distinctive kind of you know that mexican mexican spice kind of flavor so yeah pretty good so i actually was wanting to do some sandwiches some convenience store sandwiches but the daily store i don't know their package sandwich selection eh, not so good because they i guess they rely on the baked good stuff um so I wanted to go, to, there's a Lawson near here as well that I wanted to hit up. Um, I've seen some pretty decent sandwiches at a Lawson before. However, they're doing some sort of renovations, so it's all closed. So we got the Daily Store today. However, I did enjoy trying these items. Let me know if you think any of them were any good or which one you think would have been your favorite. The egg toast, the panini, or the uh, fried tortilla. Okay, so that's it for this video. I'm going to finish at least this one off before I head on my way. But uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to get up to tomorrow. Um, we'll have to wait and see. But until then, I just wanted to say thanks for watching. And I guess we'll see you tomorrow.